Hi everyone, I'm Elio from Big Academy. I'm your master trainer of today. So I'm going to show you how I find domain name and place order. So I will be go to bigdomain.my. Okay, it's a very good service uh, domain provider and hosting provider in Malaysia. So I'm going to show you step by step. All right. Uh, first, one of the requirements, very important, you have to you have to create an account in Bitdomain. So afterwards, you have to verify and log in to your client area. So this is the client area. And this part, you can see there's a column is called register a new domain. So it can just key in the domain name that you want to register and start click register. Okay, and they will start do the domain search in the system. So you have to wait for it. Okay, and uh, this is the results. So you can see got .my.com.asia.cc.com.my and so on. So you can uh, consider to take, if you want to target international, you can choose .com. Actually, it's quite cheaper, right? You can change this one into one year, which is just 34.90 cent ringgit. Another thing is, if you want to target Asia, you can choose Asia. Okay, Asia is just uh, 8 ringgit, 80 cent. All right, very cheap, okay, very affordable. So if you want to just target Malaysia uh, people, actually you can consider to take .my or .com .my. Okay, so uh, I'm going to order for .ibfpinang.com. So I tick and scroll down, I will choose add to cart. After you choose add to cart, actually you have to consider to you uh, one web design. If you want web design, you can add because big domain they got provide web design service. Besides that, you can choose a hosting. If you have your own web designer, your own team to do it, okay. Uh, at least you need a C panel account for you to do IP address setting or name server setting. Okay, it could be easier for you to do connections. For example, you want to connect to your websites or your email business email. Yeah, actually the C panel is required to do it for your domain name. So at least uh, choose one. Okay, just my recommendations. So right here got a few package. Of course, you can consider to increase more storage if you want to really use it for the business email. Yeah, you can consider here we've got a 5 gig, 15 gig, 13 gig, right? Uh, 220 gig, all right? So all of these are available. So for right now, actually, I just want to connect the domain name to Wix. Okay, so I need to do the setting in the cPanel or uh, the new server and so on. So you use the startup cPanel, at least this one, order now. Okay, because I'm going to order a new domain. So right now I will choose this one. Use a domain already in my shopping cart. And the rest actually is uh, if you want to connect to other domain name, of course you can choose other, other options. Okay, so for this one, actually I will continue with the domain I'm going to order, which is uh, .ivfpenang.com. Choose use. Okay, uh, before proceed, you have to choose the billing cycle. So I will choose one year as well. And I mentioned the website, why you could think for. So you have to choose the information. Okay, verify and agree. Okay, if you want to add on some extra service, you can go through just below it. Okay, if no, you can untick everything. So go to continue, we will see the total items that we choose it and it will be appear in our shopping cart of Bitdomain account. So the total right now, you can see there are two, two items. So on the right side is uh, the total amount of the order. If you get a promo code from your friends or Bitdomain, actually you can key in right here and then choose validate. So far, I don't have any code. So I'm going to proceed this order is 49. Ringgit 0.90 cent, which is included a starter hosting package plus a domain registration for one year. So check out. So the method payment method in the big domain is very convenient because it's included a credit card, more pay, Malaysia banking, a PayPal. If you want to offline, you manually go to ATM banking and then upload the payslip. Yes, you can choose it. So before go to payment gateway, 
um, if you are a new customer, you haven't signed up any account, you can sign up with Facebook or Google. All right, if you have registered an account already, it will be included all your personal information and the building address. All right, so uh, this is the payment info. Yeah, you can choose more pay, which is included credit card, debit card, or Malaysia banking system. You want to choose PayPal? Yeah, can. If you want to do manual transfer, okay, you can choose right here. So for me, actually, I would prefer the banking online. It's very safe and very fast, efficient. So take agree to the terms of service and we choose complete order. So wait for it. I think it will be start the link to the payment gateway. So this is the payment options. If you want to use Visa card or MasterCard, you have to key in the payment information right here. Okay, and change your name and so on. So I'm going to do payment through FTX, which is uh, connected to Malaysia Banking. And uh, I'm using my Sandra Berhad account. So I need to use account two to do the approval. Okay, so right here you can change the information, which is for the payment info, will be put your payment information. Right, done. Pay online through FBX. This will appear a uh, Maybank to you because I choose Maybank to you, right? So I need to key in the company information. All right, I will skip this part. So payment done. All right, highly recommend that you print screen or take a photo as a record in case that certain issue happen when you making payment and uh, maybe it's loading or disconnected but you really made the payment ready so at least you got a receipt or pay slip that you can show to the vendor and then they can check it out and help you to connect back to your domain name or your account okay so it's loading right now and just now i take your photo ready it will be go to the merchant which is my client area account i think okay just wait Right, I need to log in again. So sign in with Google because I created an account with Google. It's very convenient. Sign in. Oh, sorry, I chose wrong. Okay, this is the Gmail. So this is my invoice I can download for account purpose. Okay, and open a new tab, we go into bitdomain.my again. Okay, log in again. I need to check. Uh, we need to ensure yeah, we managed to bought the domain name. So log into the client area. Yeah, you can see we have two services. The service actually is the hosting, the 15 ringgit per year, the hosting package, the starter C panel. And right here we can click the domain and you can see the domain name. So this is the domain name panel, and you can choose to edit or manage your domain name. All right, so that's all for the procedure and the steps how to buy domain name in bitdomain.my. All right, that's all for today. I'm Alan, your master trainer in Bit Academy. Goodbye.